Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I got request like I should make explanation video for this live. So here it is. So first of all, just will log in with your credentials and once you're done with that, just will come back over here, click on the checkbox and then click on this agree and continue. Now the first thing that you have to do, you have to just simply search for the Vertex AI. Open this thing new tab and just simply come back over here. Wait for a second and just simply wait. And here you can see enable all recommendation AP. Just simply click over here. Make sure that you have to click over here. Now just simply click on this workbench and just simply wait over here. And now just simply click on this user manage notebook. Just simply click over here and wait for a second. And then just simply click on this open Jupyter lab. It will take a couple of minutes to launch Jupyter notebook. So just simply wait for that. And it's done now what you do you have to just simply click on this training folder just double double click over here then click on this self place and then click on this learning over here like this way and then just simply click on this introduction folder like this way now here you can see this file just simply double click over here and the file will be open now the first thing that you have to check as you can see here python 3 is initializing you have to just simply wait until this show as an ideal as you can see it's showing ideal if you just simply hover over here from here you can just simply check the kernel status so as you can see the kernel status is ideal now what you have to do if you are using a windows machine so just simply press ctrl a and if you are using a mac so just simply press command a over here and once you press like this as you can see it's converted into the sky blue color now what you do just simply click on this run and then click on this run selected shell just simply click over here now here you can see it start running and from here you can just simply check the kernel status so as you can see now the kernel status is ideal okay and once you're done with that just simply come back over here and now just simply click on this check my progress and you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated on the first attempt no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of seconds and the score will update for sure if we just simply come back over here and scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a green tick over here without any issue just simply wait and watch and as you can see we got a score lab take time to update a score so no need to worry about that just simply wait and you will get a full score on this lab without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys